Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. And in this video, we've got some interesting things that are going on in the space. Come on, let's go. Well, the market is looking just scrumptious, <laughs> very strong, everything moving up across the board. Bitcoin up 3%. Yeah, over 23,000. We've got XRP up 3% at 41 cents. Quant up 5%. Matic, Tezos, Algo, HBAR up over 6%. VeChain up 7%. ADA up 8%. Yeah, I'm talking my book, everybody. <laughs> How can you not? This is really a great day. This first story ties into the Ripple Liquidity Hub. That is a new part of their business model that I think has a tremendous amount of, of potential. Now, the Bitcoin and crypto vending machines, these are much like an ATM. They're worldwide and it's an easy way to convert your cash to crypto. They are AML and KYC compliant, which means they do fall within the lines of the anti-money laundering and know your customer protocols. And I happened to come across the January 2023 pitch deck for the Bitcoin Depot. Wow, the team suite is just stacked with former bankers, Bank of America, Deutsche Bank, Key Bank, Wells Fargo, HSBC. And uh, they also have members of their management team from PricewaterhouseCooper, Apollo, FIS. It's just a reminder that when a Bitcoiner calls XRP a banker's coin, you should just smile and think to yourself, mm, oh, poor guy. Well, maybe someday he'll figure out that Bitcoin has been captured by legacy bankers. It was this slide that I thought was particularly interesting. The transaction volume, the stat here, uh, shows the Bitcoin price in black has dropped significantly since Q4 of 2021. But look at the total transaction volume. It is in yellow and it has significantly increased. So many know how to buy the dip. And what's also interesting here is Coinbase. The revenue is off 49% in Q3 2022 versus their Q1, but the Bitcoin Depot is up 13%. The crypto version of Coinstar is called CoinMe. And back in 2019, Ripple invested 1.5 million. Then in 2021, CoinMe became the first Ripple liquidity hub client. This is where Ripple would source the best price for their crypto, which, by the way, does not include XRP right now. And then in 2022, MoneyGram took a 4% stake in CoinMe. And then in Bloomberg's crypto section yesterday, we can see that the company had issued some asset-backed securities tied to these machines they have uh, payments due coming up on this 900 million starting in April. And it looks like they're in some trouble that they can't pay because they have tapped the advisors uh, as the payments near. So they're probably looking for ways uh, to, to extend or to uh, receive relief from this looming deadline. I do like to dissect businesses and try to find out why some business models work and some do not. We see here that CoinMe has 506 complaints over the last three years. And Bitcoin Depot has 18 complaints over the last three years. Now I know this doesn't tell all, but possibly we've got a big difference in user experience. As an XRP holder, we do want to see Liquidity Hub successful. And the reason for that is we want to see the institutional investors come in to this space. Yesterday on Twitter, I shared with everyone that this investment firm, Tokentis in Germany, made a significant investment in private equity of Ripple. One of the things they highlighted in the reasons why is the liquidity hub. In their press release, they do highlight that the XRP cryptocurrency contained in the XRP ledger is used as a value transfer medium for the conversion and transfer of foreign currencies between counterparties in RippleNet. If this is a successful investment for them, you can easily see that 
investment firms will roll their capital into the digital asset XRP, not only as part of that solution for RippleNet, but also as one of the digital assets that are sourced in Liquidity Hub. We had some great news coming out of the XRP Ledger Foundation yesterday. This is a fantastic update. First, they've added a new validator, and that would be the Aesthetis Art Group. I've had Aesthetis on the channel, and they're really a class act. They are combining NFTs with the FIGITAL, which is the physical digital prints, and they're doing it with some really high quality master artists. And the most important part of that announcement, which Ripple it in in New Zealand tweeted out, Ripple is now down to just one validator on published UNLs. So, and no single entity has more than one validator on the UNL. Diverse and decentralized. That is the XRP ledger. And I do have to remember that there are a lot of new people to this ecosystem. So if UNL sounded Greek to you, it stands for unique node list. Each server in the XRP ledger protocol has its own UNL. And this is a list of validators it trusts not to collude. And each server independently decides when the ledger version is validated based on the consensus when enough of its trusted validators agree on the new ledger version. XRPL.org is the go-to place if you want to know anything about the XRP ledger. All right, everybody, we're jumping to the fluff. I'm not sure if you heard, but boy, there is a deep freeze over Japan. And yeah, in some areas, it looked like this. Now, this is a time of year where the girls' festival dolls start to appear. You'll see them all over from restaurants to banks to inside people's homes. They're just beautiful. It's a very old tradition. And the vintage ones will really bring a good price at auction. Here's a pair from the Meiji period, which would be about the turn of the century. I, too, have a pair that dates to about this time frame. The style of kimono comes from the aristocratic Heian period days, just layers upon layers of fabric. A full court display will run you into the thousands of dollars. And what I love about Japan is they don't take themselves too serious when it comes to traditional culture. Here we have a doll maker in Tokyo that has decided to make a set with Biden and Kamala Harris. <laughs> I mean, come on. You just have to kind of smile at this one. All right, everybody, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye bye.